Hello friends, in this session we are going to learn how to create a power copy and how to instantiate a power copy. A power copy is a very powerful tool in KTF V5 which allows you to copy a required geometry or element with its all required parent. So by using this we can generate a new geometry or elements which can be easily modified as per the requirements. Now let's understand the practical importance of the power copy. Suppose you are working on this part, plastic part and um, like most of the plastic part uh, requires a ton of attachment to um, get good fit and finish and uh, strong connection between the parts. Like that this part also required uh, screw boss attachment at 10 different places with the different sizes and the shapes. So in in this case, instead of creating uh, the screw bosses at 10 different places, we can use a power copy and save significant amount of time and efforts. If you are saving your power copy at a common accessible location like uh, on the server, then multiple users can use the same power copy in multiple projects and multiple times, which helps you to maintain a feature standardization in your organization and also saves a huge amount of rework efforts and the design cost. I will demonstrate this all once I create a power copy. To create a good power copy, the geometry or the feature that you want to copy should be properly constructed on the required input elements. Means the feature must update its location and orientation when input element changes. There are some useful tips while creating a power copy geometry or a feature like keep minimum number of inputs, always rename your input elements with appropriate names to help the users to understand what needs to select while instantiating and use colors to differentiate inputs. One more important useful tip if you are using a sketches into the power copy feature construction, then it is preferred to use position sketch based on proper support, origin and orientation. Your sketch should be fully constrained and to constrain or construct a sketch, it is not preferred to use 3D projections or uh, intersection 3D element. Instead of that, it should be preferred to use external references like edges, faces, etc. In the previous session, I have created a plastic screw bus attachment. I am going to use that model to create a power copy. If you haven't watched that session, link is shared into the description. Let's open a screw bus part. So this screw bus attachment it's constructed on the start point and die dot direction. So before creating a power copy, let's check whether this geometry is constructed properly or not. So for that, create a new geometrical set and inside it, create a new point and a line. Passing through this point and the direction should be uh, Y. Now isolate these two elements. Now replace start point with this new point and replace this die direction with this new die direction line. Update your feature. So here you can see this is not updating properly, especially ribs. So let's fix this issue. Center drop this. Double click on this. Why this is happening? Because this is taking a reference from this line. It should be a screw axis. So let's create a screw axis. So to create screw axis, work in define the screw boss construction and then create a line 
at this point along this direction. Center of this the properties and rename that screw boss axis. Now double click on the circular pattern in this reference direction, change this reference element to the screw axis. Now update this model. Now it is updating properly. Now replace this new point with the start point and this direction with that draw direction. Update screw goes it properly. Now hide the screw boss axis. Delete this geometrical set. Now this model is ready for create a power copy. Let's say our screw boss part. Let's create a new power copy. Go to insert, select knowledge templates and select power copy from the flyout. New window appears on the screen, which consists of these different tabs. Let's see these tabs one by one. First one is the definition. This allows you to name your power copy. So let's name our power copy to screw boss with a dog house. Then it also allows you to define what element should be selected and what element should be input. Here I want to create a power copy of the screw bus with the dagger. So select screw bus with the dagger's body. Now in this input window, you can see all the elements needed to construct the screw bus with the dagger. But in this input window, I want to keep only start point and a die direction as input and want to move the other elements into this selected side. To move that, select this element from this input window. So once you select, it will move automatically on this selected window. Or you can select a screw boss construction geometrical set. So it selects all the construction element under this screw boss construction geometrical set. So now you can find only start point and die direction as an input elements the next tab is the inputs so this input tabs allows you to change the sequence of the input elements by using these two arrows to change you have to select the element first and using this arrow you can change the sequence of the input parameter this also allows you to change the name of your input element if you, it doesn't have any appropriate names. The next tab is the parameters. This consists of all the parameters of selected elements. And by using this tab, you can create the input parameters, which allows you to enter a new parameter value while instantiating. So for our group boss, we are creating a three parameters, three input parameters like a screw boss diameter, inner screw boss diameter, and the number of uh, ribs. To select that or create that, let's find out where our geometry is created. So in the screw boss, we created in the sketch one, we defined our the screw diameter as well as the inner diameter of our screw boss and the number of ribs is defined by the circular pattern so let's find out these parameters so go to first screw boss 
and sketch. So here as you can see screw boss sketch. This is the radius one. So this is a screw radius. So publish it, name it to screw radius. Now select the inner diameter of screw bus and publish it and name it to screw boss. Inner radius. Now select go to grids and select the circular pattern one and select this angular number. This defines the number of ribs, so you can name that number of ribs. Now, next step is a document. If your selected element contains external linked element, then here it shows the path and the role of the link document. Next tab is properties tab. So here I can apply a new icons to my power copy. So I select this one for my power copy. And another one is like a preview. You can grab the screen and create a preview window or preview image for your power copy this is very useful when you are when you are going to use your power copy from the catalog if all the parameters are as per your requirement then click on ok now new power copy is created under this power copy node into the specification tree You can create multiple power copies into the single part. So let's create one more power copy. So next power copy, I want a screw box with the rib. So select the geometry and select the color of that particular body. You go to insert. Select knowledge templates, select power copy. Here you can name screw boss with ribs. Select screw boss with the ribs and move on the construction elements. on this side now only it's a start point and the direction is input go to input i don't want to change any sequence here go to parameters go to screw boss sketch radius one should be published screw radius And this should be a screw boss in that radius. The number of rates go to the circle pattern, change publish it. The number of rates Documents go to this publish and change here for copy to this 
Let's create new power copy generated under this power copy node. Let's learn how to use the power copy. There are multiple ways you can use the power copy. Suppose you want to create a duplicate copy of this screwball in the same part where the power copy is located. Then you have to create first the appropriate input parameters or input elements for your power copy. So our input elements here is the start point and the data direction. So let's create a new point and a data direction. Create a new geometrical set and that create new point and create new direction. Y component. Now go to this power copy, right click on it, go to this power copy object and click on this instantiate. New window will appear on the screen. Here you can see the reference means the power copy which is selected. Now in the destination, we can select the destination where you can put on this construction element for this new feature. So select here destination, you can change destination here, but I want to keep here geometrical set 4. Here you can name your new geometry which is going to create. And then select the input parameter. Select point first and then die direction. Here you can keep appropriate direction as per your requirement. Click on preview. Now new geometry is created here. If you want to change the direction, you can change the direction and click on the preview. In this way you can change the direction with respect to the start point. Now click OK. So new screwball geometry is generated. And we can operate this new geometry with its new parameters, which are under this geometrical set 4. Suppose I want to change here direction of Return direction update. It's updated accordingly. You can do the same thing by using go to insert and instantiate from the selection. So once you select that, you have to select the power copy. Now you have to select input parameters. So here you have to put first select a destination, which should be geometrical set 4, then start point in this direction. Preview. Click OK. Now this new geometrical set is created for this new doghouse. So whatever the all whatever the parameters you want to edit, you can get under this group of job construction geometrical set for that particular feature. So by using instantiate from the selection, you can either create a new geometry inside the same part or you can create a new geometry into the another part. So only limitation for this, your uh, part having the power copy should be open into the session. So now hide this other geometries and also this construction element. We keep only our original power copy element. Now go to Windows and open the another part where you want to create a new features so in this part at the six places i want a screw boss 
with the doghouse for Emmett's group. And at four places, we need a screw boss with the ribs for M4 screws. So even though our power copy is created for M6 screw, we can easily modify it for different size of screw while instantiating. If our part, our power copy part is open in this session, then we can use instantiate from the selection to generate a new feature. So go to insert and select instantiation from selection. Then go to window and open the part where your power copy is located. Then select a power copy you want to instantiate. It will take you back to the original part with this new window. In the reference you can see the name of the power copy you selected. Then in the destination, you have to select where you want to store all the construction elements. So here I'll select the attachment one. And if your part contains the similar name as the input elements, then you can use this identical uh, name button. Click on that. It will automatically take the element with the similar name and click here on preview. Now if your new feature is created as per your requirement then click OK. But this is created for the M6. We need it for the M8. So go to the parameters here. And change the screw radius to 4 and inner radius to 3. Close it. Now preview. Now this is updated for the MH screw. Now click OK. Now I want to instantiate a screw boss with the ribs. So go to insert, click on this instantiate from selection, go to window, select the part or open the part where your power cup is located. Select the power cup you want to instantiate. Now, in the destination, select here, this attachment 3. Now, select the die direction as this die direction and start point as this point. Now go to parameters and change here the screw die desk to 2 and screw boss in the radius to 1.8. Close. Click OK. You can also use a single power copy into multiple projects by multiple users. That helps you to maintain feature standardization in the organization. For that, you have to save your power copy part at a common accessible location. So let's save our screw boss power copy part. Go to window, open screw boss power copy part, and you can go to file and save or save as. Save at a common location. No. Go back to your working part. Now here, to instantiate that uh, saved power copy part, we have to go to insert and we use here instantiate from the document. So once you take that, it will, it will open a browse, browse window. In that, you have to search for the location where your power copy part is located. Then select the power copy part and click here open. Here it will throw error because uh, the part is already open in the session. So if you want to use the instance sheet from the document, your part should not be open into the session while instantiating the power copy. So go back to the screw bus power copy and close this. Now 
Here, go to Insert, Instantiate from the document, and select the Power Copy, and open. Now, our part contains two Power Copies. So, in the reference, you can see the two Power Copies. One is with the boss, with the dark house, and another with the ribs. So, here, what we can do, we can select this first, the screw boss with the dark house. And in the destination, here I'll select the attachment 2. Select the start point is the attachment point 2. And the direction is the diode direction. Now, I'll change the parameter here to 4 and 3.4. Close. I click on the repeat. So I check this repeat box, click OK. Now I want to change here destination. So I want to change the destination to attachment file, change the start point to attachment file and Click on the parameters, parameters are OK, click OK. Again, select here, attachment 6. And start point as attachment 6. Preview. Click OK. The next one is I want to create a screw boss with the dog house at these two points. So select the destination here, attachment 9, and the select the point, start point as attachment 9, preview, click OK. Now change the destination to attachment. 10 and select the start point as attachment 10 preview click ok now i want to use a screw bus rib screw bus with the ribs at these three places so change the power copy the reference here and here I want inside change this to attachment 4 and now select here that direction is this and start point is this point now go to parameters here I want to change this to 2 and this one is 1.8 uh, and the number of ribs should be 4 Preview. Click OK. Select here. Select attachment 8 as a destination and the direction will keep same. Uh, change the start point to attachment 8 and preview. Check the parameter. It's correct. Click OK. Again, change the destination to attachment 7. Keep the data direction. Select the start point as a 7. Attachment 7. Preview. And click OK. Now, this is repeating. So, whenever you like select OK, it will create one more geometry here. So, cancel it. Now we have all the required bodies for this given part. Now, but orientation for the screw boss is not correct. So let's change the orientation of this screw bosses. So change first center graph and change the feature orientation.
change the feature orientation. Center the change the feature orientation. Ground. I will click on this and change the picture orientation. Update part. Now insert. New body. And all and all these parts or bodies inside that body fifty six. And now working defined our body. Right click on this body 56 and use the alien tool to merge this all the features inside your plastic part body. So click on this remove and select unwanted portions. One by one. Click on OK. Now this body is moist with the plastic body. Now suppose in the future if there is a change into the die direction. So you got a new die direction. I'll show you the new die direction. So replace old one with this new one and click OK and update your part so you are all screw bosses and all your feature is updated along with this new di direction so this is the benefit of the power copy you can create very updatable features by using this power copy this is the end of our session Thank you so much for watching this video.